What's up? What's up? Welcome back to Real Talking Healthy Food. It's your girl. Uh, make sure you come in and you just go ahead and like that button and subscribe so you could stay on deck with the trill perspective, okay? So I'm going to have to multitask on this video, unfortunately, uh, for some reason under the sun. I have no idea what the fuck happened, but I recorded this video yesterday and it, it's just not up. So I'm just going to have to get ready for work and record this video again now um, because I just want to really honestly get it over with and um, and say what I need to say in regard to this um, situation with the uh, Chan Chan Reed. First of all, condolences to his parents and family and his sisters and everybody that loved him. For me, seeing this video, um, I'm not going to show the actual shooting scene. I'm going to just show the clips to the lead up because I have a different point of view on it. I feel like he what he didn't have any malice or ill intention in his heart. Um, there's absolutely no reason under the sun why those coward ass bitches uh, had to shoot 12 rounds at him because I counted. They shot at him 12 times and 10 of the motherfuckers hit him. And to me, all of them are some faggot ass bitches and so are their mamas. To me, he really reminded me of myself um, when I was his age because I was wild. I'm sorry, y'all, but I got to get this computer going. I was a wild little motherfucker like him. I've been on high speed chases with police. I done ran from niggas. I, I, I've been on car chases, high speed chases and all that shit. But I didn't get no bullets dumped at me. You know what I'm saying? Because the cops that was chasing my motherfucking ass weren't some bitch made ass niggas. Maybe that could be a story time one day. I could share, you know, that story. But I'm not in the mode of that right now because, you know, I'm going to just, I'm going to run this clip for you. And um, so you could see he, he he didn't have any malice. He didn't have any of that in his heart. He was just being on some wild shit. All they had to do was put him, lock him up and keep it pushing. Throw those charges on Adam and that's it. He's 21 years old. You know what I'm saying? He's 21 years old, um, and it's so ill because a lot of the other people, other races, white people and shit like that, they get to make their little mistakes, and they don't get shot at. So that's the difference here. You know what I'm saying? And so I had to look deeper into the story because I only saw the clips. Yes, they're making it they're and comparing it to Ahmad Aubrey, which is a totally different set of rules there. He was hunted down for real. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not excusing the shit that Sean Reed did, but what I'm saying is, what am I saying? I... I had to look into it a little bit more because I saw videos of people saying that he deserved it. He put himself in that situation and shit like that. But meanwhile, we got motherfuckers who shoot up churches and get rides to Burger King. So I don't understand what the fuck y'all talking about. You see what I'm saying? He didn't have any malice. He wasn't trying to hurt nobody. He was just acting crazy as fuck because he's a 21-year-old kid who thinks he's immortal. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what it was. It was nothing more, nothing less. So let's stop painting him as a fucking picture of like he's just committing all these crimes and shit like that. Can we also remember he's a veteran? Can we also remember that he was in the Air Force? So please have several seats with that bullshit. I mean, me personally, I wouldn't have been on no live, nigga. I would have been up through. Okay, that's just me. I, I, no disrespect or nothing, but I wouldn't have been on no motherfucking live. I just would have been handling my shit. <laughs> Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! You're not gonna catch me, I'm out! I'm out! 
And then they shot him. They shot at him 12 motherfucking times. 12 motherfucking times. I said I wasn't going to show up. But You shot at this nigga 12 times, 13 times. What are you old shitting for? You're the faggot that did that. You're the bitch made nigga that did that. I just want y'all to hear. I hope that he chokes on his fucking words. Like, I thought I was going to say something different than I did yesterday. Like, I said some really harsh things, but I'm going to try to clean it up because I have to be in a good mood for work and everything. But I hope all of that comes back on him. I hope he chokes on those words. I hope his beautiful eyes haunt him. The, the fucking pig, the fucking coon faggot pig who said that, I hope he chokes on those words. I hope they choke him like glass. I hope he he swallows glass. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's absolutely no reason uh, for anybody to say something like that over a dead person's body. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the most disrespectful thing that you can say. I hope it comes back on him, and I hope we all get to see his karma. That's what I hope. I hope that because he's black, I hope that he gets the worst and the brunt of it all because he's black. You know, that that's what I hope for that cocksucking bitch who said that shit. You know, uh, no regard for life at all. No regard to his race at all. No regard to the fact that he's a 21-year-old 20 kid. And the other thing is you're, you're just fat, overweight, and you shouldn't be a police officer. Like, police officers should not be allowed to be overweight or smoking. Like, that should be part of the fucking rules. There's no reason in the world why you shouldn't be up to par to be chasing someone down. 
And he did not deserve 13 rounds to get shot at him. And he most definitely did not deserve to have some faggot ass bitch like him to say it looks like it's going to be a closed casket, homie. I hope his parents have an open casket and they show the world what a bitch made faggot looks like. And I also hope his mother and father don't sweep this under the rug, take the money, and be like Trayvon Martin's parents or everybody else's parents, Kanika Jenkins' parents, um, and every other underage person who took the money and didn't say nothing else. I hope you're not like them. I hope you stand up for your son and you... you uh, speak on the inequality that he had to face because there's a lot of people out here who has been in his position who are still alive today and served their time and, and, and served their debt to society and kept it pushing. But no, because he was chased by a couple of faggots, a couple of bitch made motherfuckers who shouldn't even have the badge on their chest were too fat, overweight, and out of shape to do their fucking job. And instead of doing their fucking job, they fired 13 rounds at him. Ten times. Ten times. Why? Ten times. And apparently, there was a black officer there that stood up over the body and said, this is going to be a closed casket. Homie. Yep. <laughs> and laugh. Why in the world would you see a need to shoot a fleeing suspect? He's not a threat. He's not facing you. He's not coming towards you. He's fleeing away from you. He's running away from you. No threat there whatsoever. Why would you have to shoot him in time? Ten times. Come on, guys. Ten times. Why would you feel the need to shoot him in the back at all? You're fleeing. If you too fat to catch him, catch him another day. Catch him another day. But you take your gun out and shoot him down. Ten times to shoot somebody down like a dog. Overkill. If you see the need to do that, something wrong with you. You shouldn't even be in the uniform. You shouldn't even. You just. Come on, man. Really? Ten times. We know. We know that we. We know. We know what our job requires. We know what we're dealing with when we're dealing with these young people. But shooting ten times. From what I was seeing, the only thing he, I don't know if the car was stolen that he was running from because he did this car. I don't know whether or not he had done anything prior to being in the car. I don't know. But it was Facebook Live. He wasn't a threat. From what I saw, unless he had already killed somebody, if he already committed a violent crime. I still, didn't, I still really don't see a need for him to be shot at the back of this thing. I just don't understand that one. I don't understand. It. And for a black car, he sat up over a young, another young black man and say, hey, this is going to be a closed casket. Mm -hmm. but, hey, I agree with that. I agree with everything that just happened. I agree with him being shot. Mm -hmm. And it makes all of us as law enforcement officers. And this is why we don't fuck with y'all. Fuck the fucking police. You guys are faggots. I, I'm sorry. No offense to him. But I don't see him. I don't see those. Those aren't the police that I encounter. So I, I just, I don't know what to say about all that. Whatever else he was going to get into. Um, not my business. I've always had terrible experiences with police officers. So that's just me. But um, rest in peace to Sean Reed. I really wish he just was able to get away. But, um, damn. Anyway, young people, don't, you're not exempt. If you're black, you're not exempt. You're not 
you you're not you're, you're gonna have a harder time getting away with shit that other motherfuckers get away. Black men, you're being targeted. The music is being targeted to improperly influence you. The people that you listen to aren't doing the shit that they're saying that they're doing. Okay, um, you a lot of shit is being weaponized against you. There are a lot of people who are against you, and we need you. We need that warrior rah-rah spirit. We need that gangster spirit. We need that. We we need that in our community, but it's just misdirected. It's misdirected on purpose. Um, rest in peace, Sean Reed, and hopefully you guys learn from this. And make better decisions than he unfortunately did. And hopefully if you do decide to wild out. Hopefully you won't run into a bitch made pig. Who's too fat to do his fucking job. Peace, love, hair, grease, all that jazz. These types of stories just. Bringing me all the way down. Um, shout out to his family. Shout out to Pushing Black. Shout out to all the people's clips that I use, and I'll make sure I tag them down below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on the gram at Real Talking Healthy Food. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.